What's going on Aquarius? I hope you are very well. This is the Autistic Mystic and this is going to be a reading for January 2022. So in this reading Aquarius, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the month. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming for the month and then we're also going to close off with some advice and messages from your angels and spirit guides. So you are most definitely very welcome here in this space with me, Aquarius, as we move through the reading. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out the reading. I do really appreciate that. If you find that it resonates with you here, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. I would also really appreciate that. So with that being said, what would you like Aquarius to know, Spirit, about January 2022? Let's go ahead and pull the energy for you, Aquarius. As always, I'd like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what we got going on here for you. All right. Okay, Aquarius, so let's get into it for you and see what we got here. So let's start off for you in your overall general energy for the month. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and also the Six of Cups up here in your top row. So um, Aquarius, I do sense a, a really, you know, a wonderful feeling of stability for uh, the month in your home life. So you have the Seven of Pentacles here to start us off. So this is a harvest, you know, this is you reaping rewards for... Um, all the work that you've put in over the last few years, you know, so in your career or whatever you do for a living, however you manage your home life and your finances, I do see it find, starting to pay off for you here. I just see stability and happiness in your home life. So you also do have the six of cups here. Okay, so this is all about nostalgia in the past. It could also represent children though. So if you are a parent or you have kids around you, I just sense you kind of taking in the happiness of it all. You know, you also have the Four of Swords. So this represents taking time out for yourself, taking a, a needed rest. So I do see it kind of being like a grace period for you this month, like uh, um, like drama free, you know, not a lot of drama this month, a lot of peace. Like you guys have been kind of going crazy the last few months. So I do see this month being very stable financially, very peaceful, you know, meditative, um, also, some of you could be connecting with someone from your past, especially for those of you who are single. We do have the Knight of Wands here in the middle of your reading. So if you are single here, I do see someone coming in for love for you here, Aquarius. It could be a fire sign with that Knight of Wands. Um, but we're going to have to clarify that in a second. So we also have this nine of pentacles for what you don't see coming. So whatever you got going financially this month, it's going to be better than you could expect. Okay. Leads to financial freedom, something like that. You guys are just really reaping the rewards for all the hard work that you've laid. Okay. So it's going to be a good month for money. So like whatever you make, expect to make more here in January for you. Okay. We also have the, the justice card here in what you don't see coming. And once again, I do feel like this month is just going to be a grace period for you. I don't know why that keeps coming to mind like it's just going to bring you so much calm and like inner happiness you know you also have it all going on in the external world but that means nothing if you're not happy on the inside and so i feel like you guys are taking time out just like really making sure that you make yourself happy this month so there is you know once again with the seven of pentacles nine of pentacles karma is coming your way for past deeds so that's very powerful now the centerpiece to your reading though here aquarius is this uh, Knight of Wands. So if you are already happily, you know, 
contained in a relationship with right now then i feel like this is your soul expanding your business you know this is you maybe traveling with your partner maybe with your family because a lot of you here definitely have a family but if you are single here aquarius um, I do sense someone coming out of nowhere in love. This is most likely someone that you've been connecting to in the past for those of you that are single. So I see two different paths here. I see like a happy fam family, like soulful exploration, expanding business, or I see someone who's single reaping the rewards of financial abundance and then someone coming from your past in love, okay? This knight of wands, okay? So we're gonna clarify that in a second, but then we move down here to the advice from your spirit guides. And we have the knight of swords, the three of pentacles, and and also the ten of cups here okay so very powerful energy um this knight of swords here is coming up in the row of finances for you for the month so this says you know push forward with reckless abandon um, this month is definitely a time for you to expand your business whatever you got going on if you work a nine-to-five job you can get a promotion this month it's looking like what it would be if not though and you're a business owner entrepreneur like really push forward this month you know you are gonna have to take time out for mental health but overall this is a month of pushing forward when it comes to your money expansion okay you also have this wonderful three of Pentacles so you are being called to collaborate with others here this month from your spirit guides okay so maybe you need to create a business partner Partner or some sort of uh, venture that supports uh, partnership and cooperation with others here. You could be learning a new craft for some of you this month. I do sense like whatever you do for work, you're going to get better at it or you're going to learn something new about it. For some of you, this could be starting something new. Like for those of you with the family and you're already kind of like financially uh, really well off maybe from your partner or something i do see you picking up a hobby and maybe turning it into a career for those of you who are single though whatever you already got going on i see it growing and expanding now you do have this 10 of cups here aquarius and this is all about a wish fulfillment long-term happiness and family so you have this theme of family here okay so you have the six of cups justice and ten of cups so for those of you aquarius people who have been in you know the last few months we had uh the queen of uh pentacles and the king of swords i believe pop out in the reading over and over again or maybe the reverse um but if you're in a partnership i see it really being harmonious this month for you okay a lot of happy children and it's justice for those of you who are in the drama relationship it's definitely going to turn into more of a, a happy one this month but for those of you who are single I'm not even kidding this knight of wands coming in for you could be the person that um you end up settling down with so this is a card of marriage long term you know this is your long-term vision no matter who you are aquarius if you're watching this reading based on the law of attraction i do feel like you're in alignment okay whoever you are you're totally in alignment here so no big red flags this month for you it's just seeming like you're flowing down the river of life and you're moving in the right direction is what spirit wants me to tell you okay so we're gonna go ahead and clarify a few of these cards aquarius um the first one that i want to clarify for you here is this four of swords all right why is this showing up in your overall energy let's see why is this four of swords here for aquarius Why is this Four of Swords here for Aquarius? Okay, so we have the dream here, okay? So the dream is kind of, um, you know what's amazing is it's, it's the Six of Cups, guys. The Six of Cups is repeating now in your reading in the same row. We can't ignore that, that's pretty big. Okay, so I just see harmony going on here with a lot of you guys. Um, for those of you who are single, you're definitely dreaming of a lover. Okay, I see this um, as you using your manifestation energy, like visualizing what you want here. Just make sure that, that you don't do it over the top to where it causes you like sadness because you are single. But if you are um, in that relationship, because a lot of you definitely are with children here or without children, I just see it going like finally the dream is restored like the original vision that you had with your current partner it's going to come back into balance with this justice card so this is like 
This is a major turnaround in love for those of you in a relationship. And maybe you don't believe me yet, but wait till January comes around. I do think you're going to experience this harmony. Now, some of you that are single, just be careful you don't overdo it because this could lead to sadness, right? Desiring what you don't have. Okay, but once again, I do sense someone coming in the past, coming from the past back into your life if you are single. Okay, if not, you probably have children or thinking about children with your partner for some. Okay, so this is a beautiful reading. Um, let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and clarify this uh, Knight of Wands. Why is this a centerpiece to your reading, Aquarius? Why is this Knight of Wands here? Okay, the Knight of Wands is clarified by the Suppression card, guys. Suppression. This is a very interesting um, clarification here. Okay, so for those of you that are in a long-term relationship, you've been with someone for a long time, I feel like you've suppressed your soul's desire for expansion and new adventure. You know, the Knight of Wands is all about letting your carnal passion, you know, and spontaneity, letting your intuition flow through you, like having a very strong uh, soul stream, like connected to source. So there's going to be something you have to let, let out. You know, for those of you in that relationship, there's some sort of project that you can add to the relationship you have with your partner. Okay, it doesn't mean you have to get up and leave. Uh, I don't sense that at all. It's a committed energy, but you do have to let some sort of hobby or expression. You have to express yourself here. Okay, something that you've been holding down for a while. This could have to do with your sexuality for some of you. Um, but for those of you that are single here, okay, you may have, um, this person may have suppressed their feelings for you in the past because the six of cups is here and those of you who are single looking for new love i do sense like for a lot of you at least this is someone from your past i feel like this person can no longer suppress their feelings towards you here aquarius you know suppression to the knight of wands this could also be you you know not no longer suppressing your desire for adventure i do sense the single people are looking for love here so Overall, though, for the single people, I do sense someone suppressed their love for you in the past, and now it's just coming back tenfold, right, with that ten card. Okay, so that's beautiful. Someone's going to come back into your life that this could be, you know, you have intuition that someone, like, had feelings for you in the past but then covered it up. That type of thing could be a fire sign here as well. Okay, so let's also just clarify this justice card for you, Aquarius. I feel like I'm too, doing two different readings for the single people and for the uh, happily partnered people, or at least partnered. So, you know, it's funny when that happens, but whatever. Let's see. Why is this justice card here for Aquarius? Why is this justice card here for Aquarius? Okay, the justice card is clarified by the participation card. This is also the four of wands in traditional tarot. So once again, this is um, you cooperating with other people. You also have the three of pentacles. That's a theme for you this month. Participation is when multiple forces, multiple people come together and they start to cooperate and participate with each other in this particular deck. Uh, so if you are single as well, I feel like this is going to be someone coming towards you that's willing to part participate with you. You know, in the past, if you've been dealing with people who ghosted you or flaky people, Aquarius, I do feel like this person is not going to be like that. They're going to be very intense because they've suppressed something for so long. They're going to let something out, break breakthrough, right? But for those of you in a family, I just sense, once again, cooperation with children and your partner. You guys have come to some sort of agreement here that's allowed for expansion and peace. Okay, so let's move on here. And also, just remember, Remember, you're killing it in the finances as well for a lot of you this month. Always a bonus. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the messages from your spirit guides here. Let's decode this. All right. So why is this Knight of Swords here? Let's get more information on that. This is an advice card. So push forward. Let's see. 
For those of you looking for love, this might be, you know, you have to push forward to find that love, you know, to participate, to meet someone halfway here. All right. Okay, the Knight of Swords is clarified by the New Vision card. All right, so this is what I thought. It's you manifesting a new vision, okay? Moving in a completely new direction, whether that be expanding your career or moving into love. Trust the new vision. Don't, don't cling to the past here, okay? Even for those of you, this is someone coming back from the past, Aquarius. Um, it's a totally new person. You guys have been through a lot. You've learned new lessons. So also for those of you in a, a marriage or a long-term commitment, push forward with your business. It's time to expand. It's definitely time for you to take up that hobby, start doing those things that your soul is calling you to do because you really have nothing to lose. The, those people already in a commitment, you guys are moving towards happiness. I can tell you that. Okay, so let's also just clarify this 10 of cups, okay, for the advice. Make sure you keep things good in your home life, you know. Also, stay, you know, Keep visualizing the end goal, right? The Ten of Cups, the, the, the ideal reality. Keep visualizing it. But let's see, why is this here? Okay, definitely something to do with a person, friendliness. This is the Two of Cups. Okay, we're going to get more info, but the Two of Cups wanted to pop out. So this is an end goal with a partner. Okay, so let's see though. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Last one. Why is this Ten of Cups here? Okay. So we have the Patience card and the Consciousness card. This is a really clear message, guys. Okay, so the Consciousness card is like the Ace of Swords here. So it's all about mental clarity. And then the, the Patience card is all about being patient for this vision to manifest. So for those of you in a relationship here already, um, have patience that it will get better. Okay, a, lo a lot of you here from the past months in that relationship with the King of Pentacles, um, it's going to improve. They're going to have a change of heart here or you're going to find a way to improve it. So that's good. But for those of you that are single, definitely you need to manifest this. This is about visualizing what you what you want to have come come to you. Okay, so just be aware of that Aquarius. I see it being a beautiful month for you guys. And with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading. So if you want more information on this month or anything in general, Aquarius, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You could find the information on that in the description box of this video. It would be an absolute pleasure to work one-on-one -on -one with you guys, as it always is. But either way, I hope you guys have a great month. It's looking great for you. You know, don't suppress anything. Go forward with your desires, and I think it will be great for you, Aquarius. All right, so much love and light. I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace.